Hello, and thank you for clicking on my video. Last video I did was just the brief description of my reading and writing class for my credit class, my first ever credit class. And in this video, it's going to be linked together, like it's going to be on the same topic, but I wanted to talk about my weekly homework load and like what is my homework for the week. And it just depends, like some assignments or studying for powerpoints may be different so this is just like my draft of my homework and it may change depending on what the teacher has like assigned to us and what we get done in class too so first of all my homework first of all is check my pcc email my teacher is really good at technology and wants the class to be online too so sometimes my teacher like emails us about like what is due, what is happening in the class, and what we're doing that day. And then sometimes it's like the snow has affected our schedule, so class is canceled, or like we're not going to do this today. So it's really nice to check your email just to get the heads up of like what is happening. And usually like she tells us in class too. So we have a special, it's through PCC, and it's like a special online thing for like classes, and it's like a special thing, so we can check all PowerPoints, grades, handouts, lesson plans, homework, links, and videos, so all that stuff that my teacher goes through is online, so we have access to it 24-7 a day, seven days a week so we have access to everything if something happened if we didn't pay p attention to class or something we have all the access we need to do at home so we have weekly vocabulary words i explained this in my last video so i'm not gonna go through it again if you want to check it out then go to my previous video and we have a test every monday and then we have a week to study for those words and this repeats and this is going to be our sixth or seventh um vocabulary lesson so we did at least 50 words and we're going to go up to 60 and then this week is my last week all last week doing the vocabulary words and then reading a book for class we are reading a book so every chapter there is a worksheet and we have to answer questions through the chapter and highlight information, circle information, underline to like take notes for active reading because active reading is like what you need to remember and it just makes your brain moving too. So that is what we do too. We have to read the book. And then each chapter has like a little section. So like each chapter has like a headline of what that chapter is about. So so there's like a chapter name and then below that is like a summary of what that chapter is about so that's nice too if you want to check out that too and then we do projects reviews powerpoints writing essays reading practice there's just different assignments throughout the week that we don't do but like if we don't get it done then it's usually homework for like the next day and we just got finished with an essay it is a really, um, what do you call it? It's just, we finished for the essay and we did that. So that is like a longer project. And that is usually, I think it was like a three week total project. So we did the rough draft. We had to do the writing conference and meet with my teacher so she could correct it. And then we had to revise it go through it, make changes, add more stuff to make it more interesting. And then that'll be our final draft. So we had to do that. And tomorrow we are starting our another essay. So I've been doing lots of essays now. So it's just a lot of like knowing what your topic and expanding. So I've been doing that a lot. And then just like reviewing PowerPoints too, because my teacher's really into PowerPoint, so we learn from PowerPoint, so we can go home and just check the like lesson plan and go through what we need to do and just just like catch up on that too. 
and then we take breaks from homework. So like me, my experience is, and like what makes me a better student is taking breaks. Like you can't do homework like, oh, the homework is gonna be due and like every homework is due at a certain time, but you need breaks in between because that is how I learn and take breaks because if you do your homework at once, then you're going to be burnt out, you're going to get tired, you're not going to try that hard, and then you're going to just be frustrated. But if you take breaks, it refreshes your mind, and it just makes you not want to, like, do that right now, because our brains are trained to, like, not be stressed out. And, like, sometimes it is stressful doing homework, so just taking breaks is really important, and just to refresh your mind. And I usually take maybe, if I do like 30 minutes to an hour, I take a break if I had more homework to do that day. But usually my homework is pretty balanced. I do my homework in the afternoons, maybe um, three or four days a week, maybe five, and I check my emails. And for every, so like my classes on Monday and Wednesdays afternoon, and like my teacher updates the lesson plan every time we meet. So I usually check my email or like check like the lesson plan so I get a heads up of like what we're gonna do in class. Sometimes it changes through the class because we don't know exactly, but that was just like the rough draft of the lesson plan. And that changes too if we got done with class and we go didn't go through that. So you just have to know that because that changes a lot like class is really condensed and you have to learn a lot so just practice like having this in a routine because if you do then it's going to be really beneficial to you and your life and i am a pretty organized person i stay on top of things i want to get things done right away and i also learn from taking breaks and stuff too because your brain needs a break so that is like my weekly homework load and this depends too. So I hope you like my video and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.